Hop is such a lovely film and interesting fact, well it's interesting to me, probably nobody else, but I dabbled with watching films until I was about 20, 21 maybe, and then I just started to watch films constantly. And this film, and also Sunshine on Leith, were two films I watched kind of back to back, and after that I just kind of became a film addict overnight. So I'm not sure if it was because of this film, I don't know if that's something I can say, but for that reason, you know, it, it will always hold a special place in my heart, but it must have done something to me. It was released in 2011, and it was directed by Tim Hill, with a screenplay by Ken Duario and Cinco Paul, and the cast is pretty impressive. James Morrison, Russell Brand, does the voice of E.B., not the biggest fan of Russell Brand, but it doesn't affect the voice at all. And the voice acting is actually very good. Kaylee Cuoco, Hank Azaria, Gary Cole is with Perkins, Hugh Laurie, who plays EB's dad, David Hasselhoff. Brilliant casting, great voice acting. I have no issues there. I also have no issues with the narrative. I think it's very cute. The description from IMDb is as follows. EB, the Easter Bunny's teenage son, heads to Hollywood, determined to become a drummer in a rock and roll band. In L.A., he's taken in by Fred after the out-of-work slacker hits E.B. with his car. I mean, that's tragic, hitting a bunny with a car, and the Easter Bunny's son, no less. Breaks my heart a little bit. I hate sad animal films, but I will say, for the most part, this is not an upsetting film. It's fun, it's lively, it's entertaining. But obviously, it does have its moment. It's very Easter-driven. It is definitely an Easter film, and it's got that feel, but I think you can also watch it outside of Easter and... You know, still enjoy a lot of it. I mean, to be honest, you could probably watch it at any time of year. I think it's just ridiculously cute. We have the chicken characters, the chicks and the rabbits. E.B. as a character is very likable. I think he's very sweet. He has a little bit of an attitude, which is what you'd expect from this kind of teenage rabbit. Um, I think the character is very well developed, and I like the journey that he goes on. I think he's he's good fun. And... The film itself is quite funny, and I didn't think I'd laugh out loud at this kind of film, but actually I did, and I found it really entertaining, and I think it's probably a film that I'd find entertaining regardless of what kind of mood I'm in. If you like, well certainly if you like animations or um, CGI animations or anything, you will like the actual visual quality, very brightly coloured, very strong visuals, I'm really impressed with the animation style. The character development is very good. The narrative is sweet. Now, I don't care about rock and roll. I don't. So that narrative aspect could have been a little bit, you know, uninteresting for me. I don't care about the band he wants to be in. But actually, it's not really about that. It's about E.B. going on his own journey and being his own person. Obviously, having it set in in L.A. and in Hollywood. Love that. Absolutely love that. It's a good, fun film. It's very cute. I will always hold this in my heart quite dearly. 5.4 out of 10 on IMDb is a bit shocking. I would have given it a 6 easily. But I actually thought that it was quite a well-received, well-loved film. You know, if ever I mention it to somebody, I, I usually hear good things about it. So I'm not sure if maybe it was just not very well received among the target audience. Um... Not that it's particularly a children's film. I think it is a family-friendly film that everybody can enjoy. But maybe it was just... Maybe it just ticked all of the right boxes for me. Whereas it maybe only ticked some boxes for the majority. But I really liked it. Hop is a very cute film. I wish there was a sequel. Personally, it's a film that I will revisit. And I recommend it to everybody.